In this video, I want to show you how you can work with object styles, something that is very powerful and that I recommend you to work with. So um, go into styles, object styles. Then I'm going to um, just play some text here. And to create this into four columns, which is the number of columns I've applied in this uh, layout, I'm going to press Command B. I'm going to enter four here. And I can see that my increment uh, or that my grid width is three millimeters. I've got two lines, which makes it three by two, six millimeters. I'm going to check preview here and we can see that it fits perfectly. So I'm going to press OK. Now imagine working with a magazine and you're going to have to apply this over and over and over. So here's a smart method for creating a style that you can apply to a text frame that will later um, update to that. So I select the text frame here and I hold down the Alt button and press this uh, new object style icon which will allow me to name the style. And I'm just going to name it for columns and you can also go in and uh, tie a paragraph style to this so let's do that press OK and let's delete this and create a new text frame here uh, apply some text here select the text frame and apply the object style very very smart here so let's say that uh, I keep my margin values for the left and right and I change my columns here to maybe five columns. Instead of going into this specific text frame and doing that for every single one in the, in the document here, what I do is I just double click on this. I could name this to five columns. I go to, let's see here. Yeah, here, text frame general options. I'm going to select five. And uh, remember that one uh, square of these or the grid width is three millimeters. So enter that and you can check preview and you can see that it adapts. So um, that's a smart way of working with object styles. I also want to show you another thing. So let's delete this. Okay, so I'm going to draw a uh, little box here and uh, have it filled with color. Now, one classic thing that you often do when you work with magazine is that maybe you wanna have a, um, a text frame or something with a colored background and then you wanna have text inside of that, but you don't want the text to be like aligned with the, uh, with the edge here. So what you can do is if you right click on this and make sure that content is text, press Command B and uh, in inset spacing, make sure to uncheck this uh, linking here. And we can work with the left and right margin or inset spacing. And we can see that it is three millimeters for the grid width. So if I enter three here, it is going to align perfectly here. And the same here. Or I could do six here, six here. Doesn't really matter as long as we work with this incremental value of three millimeters. And we have a top margin here, so we can enter our um, lending value of 4.243. It's also going to align perfectly. And maybe I want a little more spacing in the bottom, so uh, let's copy this, paste, and multiply by 2. And basically, I could uh, save this as a object style. So let's see here. Um, I'm just going to name it to black box. OK. And, um, and once I have that, then apply the black box object style. And that's how easy it is. 